A very good morning to all my wonderful children. Your teacher, Savita ma'am, was very eager to come back and meet you all. So how are my little ones doing? I heard children that nowadays you all are enjoying a lot in your live sessions and you are experimenting and learning a lot. About water, right? Oh, oh. Water that makes everything around us so beautiful, so marvelous, right? Who is this coming? Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. Who are you? I am an alien. Alien? Yeah, you do look like an alien to me. Oh, oh do you understand English? Yes, I do. I saw your green planet from the space and I came down to ask you what makes it so beautiful. Oh! Do you see these water bodies, Mr. Alien? This water makes everything so green around us, so beautiful. W w water? What is it? Oh, you don't know what water is? No, there is nothing like water in my planet. Oh yes, you haven't seen water before. Will you please help me know more about it? Oh yes, Mr. Alien. You look to be a friendly alien. Yes, children? Don't you think so? So can we name him something? What do you think? What should we call him? Should we call him Ali? Right. So, Mr. Ali, my children and me will take you through this different water bodies and we would help you know more about water. Would you like to do that? Yes, yes. Where are your children? My children are right there looking at you. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Okay. So, Mr. Alien, Ali, you please sit here and have a look. Children, what do you think? Should we take him around and make him understand few things that we have learned together? Right. So, Mr. Ali, be here. Mr. Ali, do you see these water bodies? Hmm? We have many water bodies on earth. There are rivers and lakes and oceans, right? This is, there are lots of water here. And now, Mr. Ali, look up. Look up. Okay, we're up. Oh, oh, do you see Mr. Sun there? Mr. Sun is going to heat up this water in a while. And then you know what will happen? The water will turn into water vapors, turn into steam, like this. Oh, then what will happen? Then Ali, this water vapor will start going up, up, up. And when it moves up there, they will again turn into water droplets. There. Oh, what, what, what is this happening there up in the sky? Mr. Ali, this was evaporation and now the water is turning into water droplets again. Condensation is happening. Condensation. Let me go and have a closer look. Oh, Mr. Ali, you are so lucky. You can go up wherever you want. Ali is having a look. Now come back, Ali. Oh, I'm back. Now, these droplets will make a huge cloud. And the cloud will become very heavy after some time. And they will start to fall down in the form of rain. Oh, is it called raining? Yes, Mr. Ali, that's called raining. We call it precipitation. So, Mr. Ali, repeat after me. Evaporation, condensation and precipitation. You got it? The same thing happens again, Mr. Ali. Again, Mr. Sun will come up. Water will evaporate. It will condense and then it will fall down. Precipitation in the form of water, rain. And do you know, Mr. Ali, sometimes instead of water, 
we see small ice balls falls down in the form of hail. We call it hail. What? Water will become ice. What is that ice? Oh, I am so sorry, Mr. Ali. I forgot. You have never seen water. So, Ali, now do you see? I, see? I have some water in the glass and this water is liquid. Look, I can pour this water down. I can drink up this water. Oh, you drink up this thing? Oh, yes, Mr. Ali. We have to drink water. We cannot survive without drinking water. The water is very precious to us. This is liquid now. And you know what will happen? If we put this water in the freezer, when the water is freezed, it turns into solid. Do you want to see? I am here. So I have some ice here. And do you see here? The water has turned into ice. Look. This is ice, Miss Riley. Oh, this is solid. My God. You call it solid. That is ice. Yes, Mr. Ali. So water is liquid sometimes. You can blow bubbles. You can drink with the straw. Oh, that is liquid. And I, just now I showed you. That is solid. And the evaporation you have already seen. Water can turn into steam also. Water vapor also. Oh, I'm really impressed. But I want to see more. I want to learn more about this water. Okay, Mr. Ali. And do you know that all this water, when it falls down in the form of rain, gets collected in this water body. But you know, Mr. Ali, we human beings, we also try to save water from our end. Okay, do you want to know how do we do it? Yes, you know, we all stay in houses. I don't know whether you have house there or not, but we do have houses. We stay in bungalows and some of us stay in buildings. And do you know, Mr. Ali, let me show you something like that. So, see Mr. Ali, this is our building. This is one building and these are different houses where we live. Oh, you call it houses? Yes, Miss Rally. So these are houses and then you know what happens? Our house has a roof like where the fan hangs, a roof. And when it rains, when water falls down on these roofs, what do we do? We save water. We save the rain water. How do you save the rain water? Do you go out and catch the raindrops? Oh no, Mr. Ali, we don't do it that way. Let me show you. You be here and have a closer look here. Just like my children are attentive, you be attentive and watch Mr. Ali here. Now, we will assume that this is a building where we all stay. And this is the roof, the top part, the terrace. Now, when it rains, the water will fall over this. And now what will we do? The water that falls down... On top of our buildings and houses, we save that water. How will you do it? Just have a look here, Mr. Ali. Now, this is our building. And now what we have done? We have fixed a pipe here. And one more pipe is attached to this pipe. And now when water will fall on this terrace, the water will travel from this pipe. And it will come from this pipe. And we will collect this water. And how are we going to collect? We are going to collect this water in this tank. I have a small tank here, Mr. Ali. And this tank is connected with one more tank. But why so? Because the water that will fall on this terrace will become dirty. The terrace is dirty. No one cleans it. The water becomes dirty. So we can't use the dirty water, right? So what we will do? We will clean this water in a natural way. What is natural? Let me show you. So Mr. Ali, we call these pebbles. I have some pebbles here which I will place in this tank. Now I have one layer of pebble. 
Now I have some stones as well. Now I am going to put some stones now here as a second layer. And on top of it I will put some sand. You know sand Mr. Ali? I don't know if you have seen sand in your planet. But we do have lots of sand. So I am going to pour some sand over it. And now we are ready to watch. But whoa, we need to have rain for that. So I can make rain happen. Mr. Ali, are you watching? Children, you also watch with Mr. Ali because you are going to now see how rain water harvesting happens. Yes, you have learned it with your teachers, but let's do it once again for Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali, we call it rain water harvesting. Okay? So are we ready to see some rain? But let's sing some songs before that, huh? A rain song. So children, you will watch here. You will watch in this pipe and this pipe and then see after water gets cleaned, the water will travel from this pipe to this pipe. Ready, watch. It's raining, it's raining, it's raining today. Pitter patter, pitter patter, raining today. It's raining, it's raining, it's raining today. Pitter patter, pitter patter, raining today. Now see children, the water is travelling from this tank and after it, it is getting cleaned, this water will travel to this tank. Are you able to see that? Let me show you one closely. Now can you see children? And let me do it once again. Right? Okay. It's raining, it's raining, it's raining today. Pitter patter, pitter patter, raining today. Now the water is travelling from this pipe and it is collected in this tank. After it is getting cleaned, this water is going again in this tank. Filling up the tank here. I hope you all can see that children. Mr. Ali, did you see? How did we do rainwater harvesting? Right children, so I think we have helped Mr. Ali learn so many things about water. Yes Mr. Ali, right? So just now you saw rainwater harvesting. When rain falls down on the terraces, we store those wa that water in one tank and that tank has few things in it. Just now I showed you to clean it naturally and then the clean water will again travel through this pipe. And it will get collected in this tank. And do you know Mr. Ali? Then we are going to use this water for different purposes. Of course we won't drink this water Mr. Ali. And we won't use this water to bathe and wash our clothes. But we can use this water to water our plants. To wash our cars. And my little ones will wash their bicycle as well. Many other things that we can do with this water. Right Mr. Ali? Oh, I'm really loving it. I'm really loving it. You human beings are so good. Yes, Mr. Ali. So, and do you know, Mr. Ali, that there are few things that sink in the water and some things do not sink. Do you know what is sinking and floating, Mr. Ali? I don't know. Will you please to show me quickly? Oh, yes, Mr. Ali. My children already have done that. We will do it for you. So Mr. Ali, this is a glass of water. And now if I take some, maybe a pebble from here. Right? And I play, put it in the water and see what happens to it, Mr. Ali. It has gone down. Right? So what is happening? It is sinking. Just like this word, which is sinking down below under the water body. And I have a leaf, Mr. Ali. Would you like to put this leaf here 
Oh, let me do it. Let me do it. Children, let Mr. Ali is doing. Let it. Let him do it. No. Put it here, Mr. Ali, and watch what's happening. Oh, it is not sinking. Then what do you call it? We call it floating. Just like this word, which is floating up on the surface of water. Wow, wonderful, Mr. Ali. How did you like it? I really loved it. Thank you to all your wonderful children and tell them that I would love to come to their classes too. Of course, you can come. You can go to their classes and my children have lovely time, you know, in their classes. Right, children? So, I think, but just, we have done a wonderful job by explaining something so different to Mr. Ali. Right? Rainwater harvesting. And did I tell you the meaning of harvest? But just I think I told you last time. Let me tell you once again. Harvest is something, children, which Mother Earth gives us. And maybe fruits, vegetables, water, anything that we cannot make on our own. And then we receive it, and we receive it with lots of love, with lots of, you know, a nice feeling in our heart. We receive them and use them. We call it harvest, right? So this new word that you, Ali has learned and you have also learned. So I think now it's time for us to go children and you can have some more fun with water. What do you say? Okay, so time to say mm, uh, uh, bye to you. So see you again next time. So good morning my dear children. Have a wonderful day. Good morning Ali. Say good morning to my children. Good morning.